Hi everyone, today we are going to see the geography, the first class in this, we are going to discuss the types of soil in India. Generally, this is very important topic for your UPSC exams along with the 10th class students, but also for them also, and the definition of soil. First of all, soil can be simply defined as a mixture of so small rock particles, debris and organic materials or humus which develop on the earth surface and support growth of plants so soil is which is contains uh, different particles and they will be those particles will be helping for the uh, growth of plants and for the vegetation so that is what the definition of the soil is so this soil has been classified into two different times uh, depending upon the ancient period it has been de detailed uh, and this has been soil has been categorized into two types that is urvara and uswara urvara is nothing but urvara is a fertile land and uswara is a un infertile infertile land okay so urvara is fertile and uswara is sterile sterile means which is not fertile in the ancient period the classification is based only on two things whether the soil is fertile or not fertile this uh, have made a classification of soil based upon the fertility of the soil and in 1956 after the modernization of the in the modern history in the modern period when the man started to know about the various characteristics of the soil they began to classify the soil on the basis of the texture color and moisture which is contained on the soil so the color of the soil just like you can see the black soil which is uh, the name of the black soil is uh, uh, because of the color of the soil the name is it is given the name as black soil alluvial soil which is of a gray color you can find this alluvial soil in northern plains and de depending upon the type of color and the content of the moisture contents of the soil the soil has been classified by the sample survey of india soil sample survey of india this has been established in 1956 they are established to, to study the soils of india and their characteristics so that it is easy for us to crop to go go for vegetation so depending upon the type of the soil or the characteristics of, of the soil we can grow we can get an, a clear idea of type of vegetation we can that's supported by the soil so the government of india has established taken initiation of the soils of of india uh, or else we can, it has been established all india soil survey organization in 1956 with the headquarters in indian agriculture research institute nagapur with having five regional centers at one is at bangalore another is delhi Kolkata, Jorhat, and Udaipur. These are the five regional centers of this All India Soil Survey Organization. Later in 1958, after two years later, this scheme was integrated with the Land Use Planning Scheme of Central Soil Conservation Board, primarily to carry all this detailed survey of soils in India, and uh, particularly at the uh, river valley projects. So because of it, this organization has been updated as All India Soil and Land Use Survey. Again, in the year of 1969, it was reorganized and the research aspects of soil survey are classified and they have been transferred. This soil survey, All India Soil and Land Use Survey has been renamed as Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICAR. So, dear students, it is very important to know about the history of these initiations that are taken up the, by the central government. So, and and they have and this ICAR has developed activities for retaining and uh, under the Department of Agriculture, Ministry of Food and Agriculture. So, in 1976, it, it became an independent institute of ICAR, named as. National Bureau of Soil Survey and Land Use Planning, NBSS and LUP, and continued to function at the IARI, New Delhi. In the year of June 1978, the headquarters of Bureau was shifted to Nagpur. 
it is located in a new and spacious building situation amravati road 7 km away from main railway station and 1.5 km away from nagpur university campus so this is a this is a initiation of the central government for the for determining the fertility or the type of soil or characteristics of the soil so based upon those soil survey the characteristics of the soil has been determined and the soil has been categorized into alluvial soil red soil black soil or regular soil arid or desert soil desert you can find desert soil in rajasthan because we have deserts at rajasthan so that is named as a desert soil which is which doesn't have a humidity humus is very less and the moisture is very less in this area and so there is a soil we can find it desert soil you can find it in rajasthan laterite soil and forest and mountain soil forest and mountain soil you can find way the in the places of uh, upper part of the country that is you can see northern uh, you can see upper part of jammu and kashmir where you can see all the mountain plains are there where you can find this type of soil and these are the major soils that has been categorized and first we'll go through alluvial soil which is one of the most important soil because mostly available soil in india it is it covers nearly 43 percent of our country area of the area of our country it is a widespread in the northern plains and river valleys you can see how you will be wearing the sari from this end to from right end to left end in the similar way you can see this alluvial soil will be covering from the northern plains just like this from right to left okay just like this it will be covering all this and we can see this alluvial soil in the uh, you can see here how you will be wearing the sari from here to from this hand to that hand you can see all this blue color is the alluvial soil spread it is a wide spread in the oh, it is about 43% covers in in our country that is punjab haryana uttar pradesh ha, delhi bihar and in some of the parts you can see where the river deposits are there where you, there are you can find this alluvial soil it's it will be found in raj it will find in punjab gujarat in some parts of uh, uh, see some rajasthan you can find some parts of punjab it is completely punjab it is completely alluvial soil and delhi is also completely covered northern plains is completely covered by the alluvial soil and uh, you can see assam also and you if you come down in eastern and western 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 ghats where you can find in the plains of river plains you can see this alluvial soil because why it is mainly in all over the country you can see wherever the river deposits are there and there you can there you can see alluvial soil because this soil is formed by the sediments and silt are deposited by the river banks and the land is flooded by the rivers this it you can find this this uh, alluvial soil in indus ganga brahmaputra plains and narmada plain krishna godavari plains okay and they because they are depositional soils transported and deposited by the rivers and streams etc so as the sand content decreases from west to east of the country new alluvial soil is termed they are khadar and all alluvial soil is called as bhangar so alluvial soil is again categorized into two types one is khadar and bhangar bhangar is a old alluvial soil and khadar is a new alluvial soil and the color of this alluvial soil is light gray to ash gray and the texture is sandy to silty loam and clay it is having it is a very rich in potash and very poor in phosphorus the most important crops that you can cultivate in this type of soil is wheat right rice maize sugar cane pulses oil seeds etc will be cultivated here so as i told this alluvial soil is found in northern plains see in the northern plains you can find arunachal pradesh assam bihar almost entirely and chandigarh delhi you can see complete 
and you can see this alluvial soil completely you can see here punjab completely haryana new delhi uttar pradesh bihar so and you can see again it is there in all river deposits where assam some parts of west bengal also there and you can see here in all over the country where there is a where there is soil uh, what uh, river deposits are there you can find this so it is found in arunachal pradesh assam bihar chandigarh delhi almost entirely haryana himachal pradesh jammu kashmir and madhya pradesh punjab rajasthan some parts west bengal uttarakhand and you can also see the it, it is it is found in the river uh, deposits river uh, coastal plains in eastern coastal plains you can see in whereas in rajasthan and gujarat you can see a, a narrow corridor i have already shown you like in rajasthan and gujarat you can see only a narrow corridor of this um, alluvial soil see a very small amount of this rajasthan and whereas in rajasthan it is only found here whereas in gujarat also it is very less amount and come when compared to that northern plains you can find this and coming to to it is also found in eastern coastal plains eastern coastal plains particularly in the deltas of mahanandi godavari krishna and kaveri rivers okay so this is this you the people the thing which you have to remember students the thing which you have to remember mainly is this alluvial soil is mostly found in the river banks mostly found in the river banks so you can find in the map almost all the blue color is alluvial soil you can find this alluvial soil almost all all the uh, banks of the river all the banks of the river in the country so that is the alluvial soil. coming to the next is we'll see red soil red soil this seen mainly in low rain fall areas in eastern and west, uh, west southern parts of the deccan plateau and red and yellow soil this soil will be uh, we can see this soil is red and sometimes it will be red and yellow soils are also found in some parts of odisha odisha and uh, chandigarh and southern parts of middle ganga plain and also you can sound this in western ghats so it looks yellow when it is occurred in dehydrated form this red soil will be if it is dehydrated when the when there is because of a low rainfall it 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 will be it, you can you can see the gesture of that uh, soil is as yellow so that's why this soil is called as red and yellow soil Defi because of the deficiency in lime phosphate manganese nitrogen and nitrogen humus and potash this the color of this is red color because of the presence of a ferric oxide and lower layer is reddish yellow or yellow color because of because of dehydrated form because of dehydration because of lack of water and it is the guest texture of this uh, soil is sandy to clay and loamy and the crops which you can cultivate here is wheat cotton pulses tobacco oil seeds potato and can be cultivated can be cultivated in this land and coming to the map if you see in the map and the red and yellow soil i have I have mentioned in a pink color these are all pink color is this pink color is all the both you can see light pink color it's a thick pink color see it is all pieces of red and yellow soil red and yellow soil you can see thick pink color which you can find telangana okay chandigarh orissa jharkhand tamil nadu and you can see some parts of karnataka so that is all about and some parts of uh, rajasthan also you can see some parts of rajasthan you can see this red and yellow soil so it is found in odisha chandigarh and southern parts of middle ganga plain so this is this will be fine this is all red color uh, thick uh, pink color you this jharkhand odisha these are all the parts and some parts of telangana also some parts of andhra and you can see some parts of tamil nadu karnataka in southern also you can find some of the places where this is present 
and very less amount you can find in Gujarat. Very, 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 very less amount you can find red soil, red and yellow soil you can find in, in parts of Gujarat also, Gujarat and Rajasthan. Okay. And you can see this, this uh, uh, red soil is also found. You can find in Mizoram, Tripura, Manipur, Nagaland, and Himachal Pradesh. You can see this all the pink color which I have mentioned in the map is the red and yellow soil. And coming to the next is a black soil or regular soil. Black soil you can find in Krishna and Godavari valleys. So you can see this regular is nothing but cotton because in this type of uh, land, you can cultivate the best soil for cultivation of cotton. This is the best soil for the cultivation of cotton that's why this this uh, and the and the and the color of this soil is also black color because of it this soil is called regular soil regular is cotton because highly cultivated best cultivated soil in uh, well cultivated crop in this soil is cotton because of it it was named like regor and this most of this deccan is occupied by by this black soil it is completely spread over northwest deccan plateau and is made up of lava flows because of the lava flows uh, uh, after the volcano eruption you can find black color ashes because of it black color uh, soil that soil will be formed in in the deccan plateau and is made of lava flows and is mature oil having high water retaining capacity it can it can retain the water it is it can retain high water so of uh, the the crops that can cultivate it here doesn't need high high water because this oil can retain high, high having high capacity of retaining the water so and this swells well when sticky when it is wet and shrink when it is dry and see you can see this soil will be uh, you can see uh, when this uh, soil is uh, when it is wet you will be it is having a sticky nature when it is dry it will be having that you can see uh, some kind of uh, it it will be like it you can see some cracks on this soil even in this when it is dry it will be stringed and when it is wet it will be very sticky so it is self pluffing is the characteristics of the black, black soil as it uh, develops wide cracks i already said it will be having cracks because of it it will be it itself makes a pluffing make the soil will be pluffed by itself there is no need of pluffing again and again because it is having a nature of self pluffing pluffing as a characteristics of the black soil so it has the rich in iron lime calcium potassium aluminum and manganese and it is deficient in nitrogen phosphorus and organic matter it is having deep black color to light color it is very clay sticky sticky will be there when it is wet wet and when it is dry you can see it is having a lot of cracks the it covers uh, in the maharashtra and uh, madhya pradesh chandigarh godavari krishna you can see in the map you can see the green color not the, the green you can see the light color light green color which i have already mentioned light green color in the middle of this map madhya pradesh maharashtra almost all the areas of madhya pradesh and maharashtra will be covered by this soil you can see so this is uh, some parts of uh, andhra pradesh also andhra pradesh and telangana you can see some parts of andhra pradesh and telangana and karnataka maharashtra is completely of uh, this maharashtra and madhya pradesh somehow you can see do not remember that uh, it is not particular that uh, some where, where chandigarh where you have is very very less amount of soil is there where it is covered in most of the places like maharashtra and madhya pradesh so whenever it is asked you have to remember the covered most co mostly covered places like maharashtra madhya pradesh and you can see Karnataka, Tamil, Karnataka, and you can see Tel Telangana. In some areas of Andhra and Telangana, you can find this kind of soil. So Maharashtra, it's Madhya Pradesh and Chandigarh and Krishna and Godavari valleys. Southern is south is southeastern direction along with the Krishna and Godavari valleys. You can find this. And coming to the next one in this map. Coming to the next is laterate 
soil this uh, this is a latin word uh, later which means uh, which means brick later means brick because so soft it will be soft when it is wet and it will be very hard when it is dried just like a brick it is having a nature of a brick when the brick is uh, soaked for in water it will becomes very very soft and when it is dried it becomes very hard because of it this soil having the nature of a brick it is named as a brick like latin in latin it is later in the areas of high temperature because it is you can find this type of soil in at high temperature and high rainfall areas where both the high temperature and the rainfall is higher in this at the areas where this soil is present these soils are mainly found in because we uh, karnataka tamil nadu kerala madhya pradesh odisha and assam and uh, some hilly areas of orissa and assam you can find that and the main areas is karnataka kerala tamil nadu madhya pradesh so after this uh, uh this area up, up, after adopting appropriate soil conversion techniques particularly in hindi areas of western ghats you can find this soil along in the western ghats completely you can you can remember western ghats okay you can remember this related soil is present in the western ghats where tea and coffee is cultivation where you will be having more cultivation in this type of soil and red lettered soil in tamil nadu andhra pradesh and kerala are more suitable for crops of cashew nuts this this soil is in andhra pradesh kerala and tamil nadu will be used for cultivating cashew nuts see here light pink color where it is found in western ghats completely in the left side you can see western ghats the light pink color light pink color some how you can see in the areas of orissa somewhere somewhere you can see uh, it completely it is it is it is completely in the belts of western ghats karnataka kerala okay and some parts of uh, maharashtra you can see and chandigarh this is also there some somewhere orissa chandigarh so in some parts of telangana also we we can find this andhra pradesh and telangana also it is there and we can also find this in tamil nadu also tamil nadu kerala karnataka and uh, andhra pradesh tamil uh, telangana orissa so this is how and you can find in Tel meghalaya only remember western ghats this soil you can find literate soil is find in western ghats because it is mostly covered in western ghat areas so karnataka kerala assam is most of the places where it is covered the soil is found okay, next we'll be going for the desert or arid soil this is a very very easy thing desert you can remember rajasthan this soil is found in rajasthan and this is uh, this is arid soil is one of the most infertile soils where it is deposited mainly by wind activities it is having high salt content lack of moisture and humus and nitrogen is insufficient phosphate is normal okay it is sandy desert means the uh, soil will also be sandy and is red or red to brown color the location is rajasthan and the crops which you can cultivate in this is barley cotton wheat millets maize and pulses etc can be grown in this and most probably uh, we'll they'll be using it needs a lot of water for cultivation a lot of water for cultivation and so, so this this is mainly fine you can remember easily uh, arid or desert soil is found in rajasthan and here yellow color it is identified in yellow color where you in the total map where you didn't find yellow anywhere except at rajasthan in some parts of because gujarat is very near to rajasthan in some parts it was spread into gujarat in some parts of this gujarat that's it and you can find this soil desert or arid soil rajasthan right and coming to the next is forest and mountain soil this is also found in the upper parts of our country where you can find the head shape there you can find this complete ladakh jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and some parts of sikkim also sikkim arunachal pradesh these are all mountain areas 
the name itself is showing that forest and mountain areas so remember this soil only present in mostly it is present in mountain areas or hilly areas where there is where there is cold where is very 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 a cool a very cool and icy areas or it forest areas and mountain areas so ladakh which is very 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 cool area and it is where himalayas are found you can see all the hilly mountain regions jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand completely these three you have to remember the total head of our our india you can find this forest and mountain and you can see some some parts of sikkim sikkim is you can find this type of soil forest and mountain soil you can find in sikkim and arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh it's a mountain area so you can obviously find this soil and so dry cold mountain states of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh and uttarakhand himalayan regions like sikkim assam arunachal pradesh these are the where sufficient rain for forests are available these are these are also available hilly mountains are sufficient rain forests are available and the plantation or cultivation vegetation which you do at this type of soil is tea coffee spices and tropical fruits okay here all the thick green color you can find only upper parts where you didn't find anywhere and some parts of andhra pradesh which is not so important remember only you have to remember where highest margin on parts of this soil is present they will be asking only where do this soil is present you can blindly write jammu and kashmir mountain and hilly areas like jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh arunachal pradesh sikkim these are the most important places okay so that is how you can see so this is the practice paper you where you can find all the above the head is this is green color is identify yourself this is for your practice just make a, a whatever we have gone through that lesson just make a practice of it the green color is completely forest and mountain soil where you can find the places identify your districts this is ladakh jammu and kashmir arunachal himachal pradesh uttarakhand this is sikkim and here you can find arunachal pradesh so in the similar way see identify all the states in the map for your practice it will be definitely for you, beneficial for your upsc thank you very much